Okay, so I'm going to make a quick video on um, how to measure the drop or offset of a shoe. Now first, what is drop or an offset? The zero drop is when the height of the heel and the height of the forefoot are at the same, at the same level, they have the same thickness. So this is a new shoe I got. I'm kind of curious about it because I'm not sure. It, it, it's, it says it's zero drop, but it, it doesn't feel like so it. So I'm going to measure it and we'll show you how to, how to do that here. To do this, all you need is you need shoe, obviously. You'll need either a pencil or fine point sharpie. You need a ruler. The one thing you do need is a clamp. Now this is a clamp. This is a, just a standard woodworking clamp. This is made by a company called Bessie. Um, they are very common. They're kind of pricey though, and so if you have a Harbor Freight near you, you can buy one of theirs. They're like a third the cost as, as these red Bessie clamps. Um, and they function pretty much the same. First thing we're going to do, take our shoe. We need to untie it, get the laces out, because we need to be able to get access to the front of the shoe here. That should be enough, just like me. Because what we're going to need to do is be able to get this clamp inside the inside of the shoe here on the on the forefoot. That's the toughest part. So we want to be able to clear the top here of the upper so that we can clamp down on this rear. So what we want to do is we want to dial this piece out just a little bit. I would say about like that is plenty to start. That'll give us just a little bit of access uh, into the inside of the shoe. So and we're going to use this side on the inside of the shoe back here, and then we're going to use this side on the inside of the shoe up here. So we kind of flip things around. But once we adjust this out, you don't want to touch that again. That stays exactly where it's at. First, actually, from here, what we want to do is get our zero markings. We want to see where zero is. So we put the clamps of those two points are together. And then we take our pencil or on this black uh, clamp arm, it really works well with just a, just a pencil. So I'm going to mark that. And if I back off, you can see my little pencil line on there pretty readily. Now I'm going to open up a little bit more and we're going to go in the shoe. And then we just, remember we're not touching this part now, we're leaving that just like it is. I'm going to put the bottom here right along the base of the shoe and then push down until I contact in the heel cup there. Just like that. That should be good just like that. I think I got a pretty decent hold of it. I don't want to compress it too much because we want to have an accurate rating and, or accurate measurement. So now I'm going to mark that same line there. Or that's that mark now. That's our that's my heel measurement. So if I were to measure that, I could come up and I'll use millimeters here. So if we measure that, I'm getting about 19 millimeters, roughly, yeah, about 19. Now let's get we have to measure the front. So we're gonna take this and sort of finagle this into the inside of the shoe in there. Go to the base here. I'm in the inside of the shoe there, and that's a pretty decent spot to measure from, right about there. And if you look real closely where we're at here, we're actually right at, exactly at my, that is exactly the same height. So, in fact, even though these felt a little bit differently, they are, they are exactly zero drop. Um, so, you know, not surprising. I didn't think that they were lying to me, but I was just kind of curious to see what it hashed out to be when I measured it. So, so you can do that with any shoe. Um, these are kind of tough because they have the webbing that sort of connects the tongue to the upper here. You can kind of see it. So it's tough to get the clamp in there. Many shoes are a lot easier when this, the tongue will fold out, but so that's how you do it. Links to my website and social media are in the description below. And uh, you can also comment below. Thanks. Mm -hmm.